Hey, what's up guys? Jake the Asshole here, and this is something I have never done on this channel. Today I'm going to be preparing and trying for the first time steak tartare. And for those of you who are not aware, steak tartare, the main ingredient is raw beef. So basically I chopped up some steak meat very finely from a local butcher. If you're going to make steak steak tartare you want to use a quality cut of beef from a respected butcher make sure it was freshly cut and you want to chop it up very fine um, like these little tiny pieces right here um, just maybe fingertip size um, you can even chop it up even, uh, finer than this if you'd like I've never made it before so I wanted to try um, little tiny chunks, but apparently you can chop it up as fine as you want. You could even run the meat through a meat grinder. The cool thing about steak tartare is there's a lot of different variations and way to, ways to prepare it. And I watched several videos and decided to make it for the first time and try it for the first time today. So what I have here for my ingredients, I have uh, half of a chopped up shallot. I have two baby dill pickles the traditional recipe calls for uh, gherkins which are basically like fancy dill pickles but my local supermarket did not have gherkins so I chopped up two baby dill pickles instead and then capers uh, there's like three spoonfuls of chopped up capers and uh, the recipe also calls for Dijon mustard Worcestershire sauce and some fresh um, black pepper and you need one raw egg yolk to uh, mix in with the meat. So I'm actually going to separate this egg and get the yolk separated and I will be right back. Okay, so now we got our egg yolk separated. So we're just going to go ahead and take our yolk and we'll plop it in the bowl. All right, and then we'll start adding um, all of our ingredients to the bowl. Now the thing about steak tartare is you can mix up all these ingredients with the meat or you can serve the meat um, by itself like this with all the ingredients on the side and then you can mix them in as you, uh, as you like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try mixing them all together like I've seen in a bunch of different recipes. Here's the capers. And here is the shallots. And I'm just gonna do a Nice little spoonful of the Dijon mustard here. Nothing too crazy. And then the Worcestershire sauce. Do a little bit of that. There we go. And then I'm just going to start mixing this stuff together. And once I've got all this mixed up, then we add the meat to it and mix it all up. So I'm just going to mix this for a minute and we'll be right back. So now I've got my Dijon mustard, my Worcestershire sauce, my dill pickles or gherkins, capers, and my shallots all mixed up with the egg yolk. Now you add the star of the show your finely chopped high quality meat of course in here and throw it in all right and then of course you mix this all up and get that all mixed together and then once it's mixed nice and well you form it into a patty on your plate so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and then I will form it into a patty and basically that it'll, it'll be done that'll be my first ever steak tartare
All right, and once you have everything all mixed up, you can add some freshly ground pepper. And you can basically eat it like this, but it doesn't look super appetizing in the bowl all mixed up. So what you're supposed to do is form it into a patty on your plate. Um, you can even put it into like a circle uh, metal dealy to make it, you know, perfectly round uh, and fit on a plate just perfect. But uh, I'm just going to spoon it over on the plate and form it into a patty myself. And we'll be right back once I have that finished. And then we'll give it a try and see how it all turned out. And voila! My first ever steak tartare. Bon appétit. So, this is something I've been excited about preparing and trying. And uh, I just made a video yesterday about eating raw meat for the first time. But this is something that's uh, one of the most fancy dishes served in all of the fanciest restaurants around the world. Steak tartare. And now I've made it myself. And I'm going to try it now. And we'll see how I did. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's good. I ain't even gonna lie. That's tasty as hell. Mmm. Mmm. Like the saltiness of the capers pops. And I love the taste of capers. And the thing with this dish... There's no exact measurements of the ingredients, so you get to add as many pickles or shallots or capers as you want. Mm. But I kind of wanted to let the meat be the star of the show, and I didn't want to overdo it with all these other ingredients because I wanted the meat to shine through. I pretty much nailed it. So, mm. I'm... So far, I'm happy with this. Uh, not disappointed at all. I figured it was going to be good, and it is good. So right now, I'm eating raw meat and egg. And it's delicious. I can see why in a fancy restaurant done by like a really good chef... This would be a top-notch dish. You'd probably have to pay a lot of money to have these filet mignons cut up very finely and so and mix all this together and do this for you. Mm. This is awesome. I highly recommend trying this yourself. Just make sure you get a high-quality cut of meat. Mmm. This is delicious. I'm going to have to make this again. So, before I ever made steak tartare and tried it for myself, I looked up recipes on YouTube, and apparently you can find hundreds, if not thousands, of videos on how to make steak tartare. And there's some extremely good quality videos on how to make uh, steak tartare. And a lot of them are done by professional chefs and famous world-renowned chefs. And look at these views, like 128,000 views, 191,000 views, best steak tartare in Paris. 187,000 views done eight years ago. So when I post a video of me taking a bite of raw meat and everyone goes crazy on my subscriber list and they start unsubscribing, telling me it's the most disgusting, vile thing they've ever seen and that I'm going to die and get worms. Well, guess what? I'm fine. And then after I ate that meat, 
Uh, I went on to uh, make steak tartare for the first time and eat a whole plate of it, and I'm fine. Look, uh, here's this buff dude right here making it. Um, 288,000 views. This is nothing new. Here's one where they actually make the steak tartare in like a super fancy French restaurant. See, the guy picks out what he wants. There's the raw egg yolk. Dijon mustard, pepper, the salt. Now, this fancy French restaurant here where this guy's preparing it in front of you, this is not some cheap shit here. This ain't Denny's. This is a fine dining establishment in what looks to be France. So he mixes in all the ingredients with the egg yolk, and then you mix in the raw meat. And he's doing it right there at the table. And you can see this is a top quality restaurant. If, if they're gonna have the guy come out and do this in front of you, uh, this isn't something that's cheap. This is something that uh, is going to cost a lot of money. <laughs> if you want to eat this in a high quality restaurant. Which I can't really afford to do that, which is why I made it myself. See, so I've been getting lots of comments, you know, from people just basically being ignorant to what goes on in the rest of the world. And it's mostly Americans who are super radically religious and vegan. And they're attacking me saying, Jake, what are you going to do next? Eat babies? Or are you going to drink blood like the elites? Wow. You guys sound ridiculous. I mean, steak tartare is served all over the world. Look. Look. And these are fine dining establishments that are serving it. Pro chefs that are putting these recipes online. Look at these views. You know, wild venison tartare. See what I'm saying? 188,000 views. So this is nothing new. So the people acting like when they saw me take a bite of raw meat, that that was the craziest, most disgusting thing they've ever seen. You sound ridiculous. People have been eating raw meat forever. Since the beginning of man, man has been eating raw meat. And people are still eating raw meat today. And let me tell you what, they don't go to Paris and fork out top dollar so that they can fall over and die from getting salmonella. <laughs> Look, it's raw egg yolk on top of raw meat. There's no shortage of recipes. So if I do a steak tartare recipe, please leave your ignorant comments out of my comments section about how it's demonic and how I'm acting like a cannibal. Um, I've, I've heard it all and it's very, very ignorant. There's a reason why there's thousands of these recipes online and why all these recipes, you know, seem to get a, a, a good amount of views. And they all have positive reviews. Most of them, I should say. So, before you attack me, why don't you do your research on people eating raw meat and raw egg. Before you go batshit nutjob crazy and attack me. Why don't you just look into how normal some of these crazy things are like eating raw meat.